historical part of rottenness so we put our bikes there to come up with the hill yes honey it's a fair walk going to Oliver Hill but got some nice view this is the railway you can get train here So this is the actual battery that was used in 1937 to 1944. So this is to protect Australia from bombardment. Wow. Now they're just stories. It's huge. A hoist over there. Yeah. And that comes from the magazine, so the ammunition would be brought up. You are what? General? General Auburn? Mm. I'm gonna take off my shades. So these are the parts of the I can smell the history. It's amazing, isn't it? Douglas MacArthur. So MacArthur been to Australia, the Philippines, and went back to Australia, right? That's what he said. <laughs> Look at this, honey. How the gun was fired. So you got the, the, the round and then two charges. This way. Okay. That's, that's the round. Japanese supply lines coming down through the Thai 
Thai Peninsula, but here they come down through Sumatra, across the Sunda Strait into Java. And, uh, so, yeah, you can see it here, this picture here shows you the submarines. And, uh, but they also, and at first, they were at the, uh, the Catalinas, the big flying boats. So these are the military sites. The communication between Australia and, and, and Europe, they had to fly right across the Indian Ocean because the Japanese had occupied uh, Java and uh, they occupied to the north. And, uh, and of course, during the Second World War, the rockets became a uh, military camp in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, Tourists were permitted. These are the rifles. Yeah. And, uh, and this uh, required the government required uh, you know, 11 crew, so it's six down below, five up in the turret, and there was always a reserve crew was sitting here. Oh. So, so when that crew grew tired, then, then uh, yeah, they were swapped over. So you can see why they put the legs there. But, mm -hmm. but the, the, uh, the engine room um, creates the electricity to drive because the gun, drive, uh, the gun is semi-automatic. Now the reason why they... Because to fire this gun, uh, the propellant, what we call cordite, was handled separately and it's highly explosive and therefore you could not afford to have anything that would create a spark. So all, everything is powered in here using hydraulics or compressed air. So all the electricity is generated here. It goes into what's called the pump room, where it's transformed into hydraulic pressure, yeah. and then it runs the gun. Yeah, so, so everything is isolated. Yeah, the shell store is again sitting the shell store, and then there's the cordite room is here. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, it was brought up in, into the... Uh, Turret. So where's well, this door? Yeah, well this is... Uh, you see it from the outside? Or yes, uh, to the engine room. Oh yeah, the doors, the doors down there, you can see that, but it's actually, it, it enables you to walk in and access, yeah, the service door, yes, you walk into the engine room, which were in fact, it had two big uh, diesel engines and generators, because it's actually powering another gun oh, yeah. so okay this gun but this gun is this part is replicated over here yeah so the part cables yeah so when you walk in here yeah you walk down here and and you feel as if you're going deep into the earth but in fact you're falling down the mm. the slope yeah yeah and down below there uh, at, at the entrance to the tunnels is where they brought in the cordite and the shells, because they were handled separately. You can see this is an actual yeah. shell, it's 175 kilos, mm -hmm. which is too heavy for anybody to lift. That's what, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why yeah, you have to have this. Thank you.